I'm a bad loser, okay? So I have not been back to Vietnam, and I don't think I'll go. Now that's comedy. That's tragedy. <laughs> When you get involved in somebody else's war, you got to pick the right side, you know. This was pretty blindingly obvious to me and to a lot of other people in my squadron that we were trying to prop up a government that had almost no chance of surviving on its own. The fact is that by the time I got there, that Washington was so heavily committed that it had become a matter of of our prestige was on the line. And we, we had to save face. So we continued an idiotic intervention in behalf of a corrupt regime. The technical problems associated with creating an Air Force that was a modern uh, Air Force, not just an industrial age Air Force, but a modern, information-based Air Force were uh, things that we did, lessons we learned in Vietnam, and coming out of there we fixed. At the policy level, there were a lot of lessons to be learned, and uh, there's no evidence that we paid any attention at all. <laughs> I don't, you know I mean? They had no weapons of mass destruction. Uh, Saddam Hussein and uh, bin Laden were not good buddies. They were enemies, sworn enemies. One thing you got to say about Saddam uh, Hussein was that there wasn't any Al Qaeda operation in Iraq. None. Zero. Now there is now. Yeah, because we knocked over Saddam Hussein. We made a huge mistake after 9-11 of diverting our attention from Afghanistan, where uh, Al-Qaeda actually was, and where we had to be effective against the Taliban, and created this chaotic situation that we have now in Iraq and Syria, uh, because really we didn't pay enough attention. So often you think that it's that, they're, that, they, that the leadership does not do fact-based decision-making, that they ignore facts and science. And it's very frustrating because I don't know how to fix it. You know, we we got a pretty good system here. I'm sworn to defend it even today from all attacks, domestic and foreign. But uh, it gives us... Uh, pretty disappointing results sometimes.